you guys enjoying the festival? It's so fun. Yeah, it's so much fun, isn't it? I wish my dad were here to see this. Oh, I say that for a reason. My dad was actually a famous comedian. Don Knotts is my dad. Are you familiar with Don Knotts? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you. Do you think I look like my father? No. No? Anybody else? Okay, what about if I do this? Oh. <laughs> uh, that's my life now, you guys. I go around making faces hoping somebody will recognize me. <laughs> What's it like being having a famous dad? Well, people are so taken with my dad they can't even remember my first name. They're like, oh, there she goes, Don Knotts Jr. <laughs> Well, uh, my dad's probably most famous role was Barney Fife Ooh. on the Andy Griffith Show. Any Barney Fife fans? Yeah, 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 thank you. Yeah, no, Barney Fife was a character. He, he was a deputy sheriff who was so incompetent, he was only allowed to have one bullet. And Ron Howard was a child actor. He played Opie on the show. And so people naturally would ask me, you know, what's your dad like as a father? And I always would say he's very strict. You know, I could tell if I'm in trouble because he'd stand there with his hands on his hip, you know, so I'd see the gun. <laughs> I'd say, Daddy, Daddy, you're not scaring me. Andy didn't give you your bullet this month. <laughs> say, that's enough out of you, Miss Smarty Mouth. You go on upstairs, brush your teeth, do your homework, and don't hang out with those bad kids on the Brady Bunch. <laughs> that's my dad. Um, and of course, you know, it was the hottest show on TV, the Andy Griffith Show, and I wanted to be on the show. I wanted to be a child actor. But my dad would not hear of it. He was against it. He said it was a lonely life for a child, and he was right. He was. Poor, lonely Ron Howard. <laughs> he grew up, and his only friends are Oscar and Emmy. <laughs> So um, my dad's other famous character was Mr. Furley on Three's Company. Any Three's Company fans? Yeah. Come and knock on our door. <laughs> the show was in the late 1970s. It was about a guy who pretended to be gay so he could live with two women and there's a homophobic landlord. Boy, how times have changed, right? <laughs> if that show were on today, it would be called Three Shades of Gay. <laughs> or Modern Family. <laughs> So yeah, I went to school in Beverly Hills, but I'm not like those other Beverly Hills brats. I'm not like Britney Spears or Lindsay Lohan. For one thing, I still have my driver's license. <laughs> and I, I went to USC. And when I was in college, I was a single gal. <laughs> Nothing has changed. <laughs> But I, I'm perfectly happy. I go to my job, I come home, I cook my meals. And my favorite recipe is open here. <laughs> and um, I do have a day job because my father it was a very practical man and he s insisted that I have a regular job so I could, you know, while well, I'm being a comic, you know. And uh, my job is I'm a librarian. Thank you for that mixed reaction. <laughs> How many people here know what a library is? Seriously. <laughs> person. The rest of you were just being polite. Uh, no, it's, it's uh, you know, I, I know we're not the power players we once were. <laughs> Sometimes I'm sitting at the reference desk going, shh, I'm trying to sleep. And it's affecting my job performance. I used to be so proud. I'd say, your books will be due in two weeks. Now I say, just keep them. <laughs> That's two less books I have to shelve. <laughs> but, uh, people have the wrong impression of librarians. They think we're a bunch of stuck-up know-it-alls. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous from the Latin ridiculosus, meaning that which excites life. <laughs> this is not me. I I'm a hippie at heart. <laughs> I once pushed a book... Shelf full of books to the ground and yelled out, these books need to be free. <laughs> Release them from their bindings. <laughs> but uh, some people say, don't you ever meet any single guys in the library? And I'm like, well, usually the guys I see are under 13 and <laughs> I just can't wait that long. <laughs> but uh, we do have a social life. Our last party was Librarians Gone Wild. <laughs> and uh, you would have loved it, sir. <laughs> Librarians were taking off our glasses, letting down our hair, 
And after a few belts of our favorite drink, tequila, mockingbird, <laughs> we were taking naughty pictures and emailing them to our cats. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Karen Knott. Thank you so much.